Well, today we are in Kentucky, Western Kentucky, at, and we're headed to a a client of of Cam's that he works with all the time, uh, trapping for multiple things, anything and everything really. And um, today I'm tagging along for the first time on a skunk, and Cam is. He's going to kind of show me the ropes and uh, show me how to handle these animals. And, uh, you know, he, he's basically just going to show me what, what the trapping, what, trap a skunk. So, Cam, is there anything you want to say? No, this will be fun. <laughs> All right. We are probably five, ten minutes away. And get right back on here as soon as we get there and get everything going. All right. We are back. And one trap here, and we're walking up to the other trap that the skunk is in. So we're going to be really quiet, and I'll show you what's going on. It has the ears. So, what exactly are we supposed to do now? We're going to put a trash bag over it. By the... Over the bypass? Yeah. Um, <laughs> ambulance <laughs> past me? The problem is the wind. Wanting to blow this around. like this and you wrap it around there okay and then you... that's the way I like to do it if this is going to blow around too much then we're going to throw that over it the problem is this wind why don't you take the lead on this and I'll, <laughs> I'll watch he doesn't look very happy he's at the front of the cage now I'll watch. Hey, you know today's my birthday, right? So I don't want to get sprayed on my birthday. <laughs> I don't want to get sprayed on my birthday.
keeps running from one side to the other. Now, what are you doing now, Cam? So, the best way to technically get rid of a skunk without spraying or anything is this method here. I bet you I've dealt with at least 20 that have had rabies. And you can't relocate an, an animal that is a vector for rabies. Right. So this is the there best be method a... from not getting sprayed and everything in general, basically, is what you're saying. You're on camera. So we have one skunk down. We are headed back to the back back here where we know a bunch, uh, they all gather. And we're going to put uh, at least one more trap out right now and then talk to the uh, homeowner to see about uh, maybe maybe getting some coyote traps put out as well back here because there's been tons and tons of sign back here where they've been traveling. So, Cam, are you going to put it uh, in the exact same place? What he was showing you earlier. What he was showing you earlier is like uh, this right here. That is, that is skunk scat. Yeah, and the and the cage is there, so that that just means that there's more than one, um, 100% more than one. What are you using to bait them with? Marshmallow simulate eggs. You think that that's the best? They're nest predators. What is that right there? Cat food. This is cat food, but it needs to be fish flavored cat food. Fish flavored cat food. Okay. The cheapest you can get, but it needs to be the seafood. Okay. The problem is that there's cats around, the protein will attract cats. All right. So, donuts, marshmallows. Just the marshmallows and the donuts and stuff. Basically junk food. And that's a trailing scent that they will smell and follow right into the... So skunks are they they're base, they basically dig, they eat the same things as possums and raccoons, right? Trash trash cans and they're grubbers, they want to dig and stuff like when people have little mulch piles and everything. Right. They'll come and they'll dig in it for worms and grubs and so what do you think the chances are that there's a skunk right here underneath this shed right now while me and you are standing here? I will smell them. You don't think that there's one underneath there right now? I think they're coming out of the neighbors over there. Okay. I mean, yeah, there's... Usually you can get down and smell them. But you look for where they've dug out, but see, that's got a ground bottom. Mm -hmm. where, where stuff has been going in and out. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Burrowing right here. Okay. But I don't want to trap them. If I use, I could use a con of bear there, but I'm only allowed to catch the skunks. If it's foxes, okay. I have to let go. And I've probably caught eight foxes on this property over the years. On this property here, you've caught around eight foxes that you've had to let go. Oh yeah, coyote tracks. Those are fox tracks. Fox? Okay. How do you tell the difference? Are coyote tracks just a little bigger? They got basically the same exact print, don't they? A lot smaller. Coyote's the, toenails will they'll show up together different than a domestic dog. And the back of the track, I mean they look real similar. Okay. But last time right in through here there was a travel way full of them where they're running. Gonna mean about the Heartlands, which is gonna be just right over there. Right. And Old Hartford Road, <clears throat> Panther Creek is that way. Mm-hmm. And in this town, everything comes out of 
Oh, and then when I, that was the thing when I first came and looked at this, I had skunk tracks coming out of there, going there. Another thing the skunks are gonna want, there's a culvert down there and they like to get in there. It's cool, it's wet, and there's stuff in there they can eat. That looks like a smaller track too, so that'd be a, a fox, know. you think? It's too, I can't tell if it's a coyote or a fox, but if you look, they're all gonna be running. That it's kind of hard to see on the camera. Deer here. Track, it? Yeah, it, it looked like a deer track, a small deer. Here, right here, another deer track. Right here. Yep, there's a couple deer back here also, isn't there? See how their hooves will. Yep, they're right here. Right here. So you can definitely tell that's a deer track. See them right here? Mm -hmm. All kinds of critters and deer and fox. I would like to put, what I'd like to do is put a fence, fence post set right here. Something coming up with coyote urine around it and then a dirt hole set right here. Right. It's something with eye appeal or like the property line stake right there. Right. Every coyote coming through here is going to go smell that and pee on that. Just like a domestic dog does with a fire hydrant. That's pretty good information to know. Look like a skull there. And if it's something new, they got to come check it out. Or if you just put stakes in the ground and spray urine around it, they got to come check it out. Right. It's hot. Kind of like I am right now. Yeah. Oh, perfect place why for a not, skunk to hang why out. Why not go stay in there for in the afternoon? Right. I mean, if I was a skunk, that's where I'd want to be. It's going to be nice and cool and... So are you going to bait this cage here as well while we're here or just one at a time? Now, what... robbed on this one every day. Whatever I put in this one will be gone tomorrow. What's your thoughts on that since they're so close together? Does it matter or... If it's good enough for one, it's good enough for three or four. So it doesn't really matter how close together they are, as long as they're not right on top well, of each other. If you're if you're raccoon tracking, yeah. Trapping, what if there's five running together? Right. And you only catch one. You just educated the rest. But what's what's important is doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So if something's running through here, they catch that fish smell. They're gonna follow it in there. With a lot of birds. Birds are getting in here. And that, that stuff there, any all this stuff basically you can get right at the grocery store, right? For someone who's looking to wanting to start trapping and getting into it. Or these are just things that you literally can go to the go to your grocery store or dollar store and get, right? They like to eat things just like people do. So we talked about uh, just that, what is that? That's that's a strawberry stuff to pour in milk, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. And then I mean, you got your the, cat food, your fish flavored, it. the beet, really, An really another, need the seafood flavor. His cats won't get in these traps. Yeah. But I am catching the neighbors. But when you get a cat in one, you pour some water on it and then let it out and it'll never get in a trap ever again. You just educated it. Oh. But, a trick you'll do is take a piece of licorice, okay. black licorice, and put it right there. All right. The anise smell, uh, domestic cats hate that smell, but raccoons and other critters love it. Black oh. licorice from... That's, that's some really good information, especially for, you know, somebody that's looking to start getting into trapping. And number one is to make sure, so we have our... Um, basically just just the strawberry stuff you put into chocolate milk or on a cookie well, and then and then you ha you're gonna have your uh, marshmallows and 
your cat food, make sure it is seafood flavored. They're hungry and they'll eat anything they can find. Right. The problem with this property is he's got a bunch of domestic cats and he has cat food sitting outside every day. That's what I could smell in those bushes. I'm still, I smell it right here. Yeah. I don't smell it now, but right, right through here. here. Yeah, weren't you just smelling it right here? That's about a week ago, that's where I was. You think there could be possibly one in there right yeah. now? Yeah. Well, I've kind of, yeah, right here. I smell it big time right here. Huh. <clears throat> we will, uh, get back with you here in just a minute we're gonna pull this cage out um, skunk should be deceased and like Cam was saying earlier that you can't relocate these or let these go um, is that is that a fur bear uh, animal a yeah, skunk there are people that will pay for pay for that for that hide what that really is worth is a skunk essence if you take a hypodermic needle on either side of the vent and you pull out the skunk essence, mm -hmm. you can sell that. People will pay you for it. Huh. Something new. It's actually real easy. You just stick a needle in them. But I'm not doing it. So now what do we do, Cam? We, where are we going to put this at now? Huh. Crazy. See the water coming out of the lungs. Yep. and put him in here. And are you gonna set this trap back out too while you're here or are you gonna take it with you? Oh, back over here by the bushes? I don't know, we smelled skunk over there, didn't we? Yeah, I would probably put this next one um, over here where we've been smelling it. skunk gets down in the bottom of that bush yeah it's cool it's out of the sun and they can just stay basically stay in there and but are they not going to find grubs and bugs yeah down in there that they can dig around yeah absolutely It'll definitely help a lot of a lot of a lot of our audience you know with with learning a lot about starting out trapping you know i surely did I, I had no idea you know about any of this until today uh, as far as skunks go i don't know people laugh at me for wearing gloves but oh i think that i'd definitely be wearing gloves as well all right guys that was today's video on uh trapping one skunk and setting what did we set three more traps three more traps uh, and hopefully we will uh, hopefully we will uh, get some more so tune in next time and uh, give us a like and a follow see you later